What's up everyone, Zonobra here coming at you for another video. Today this video is going to be dedicated to a comment on my last one. Uh, this comment comes from Crash LOL Replays. By the way, thank you so much for commenting on so much of my videos, man. I really appreciate your time and the time you spend watching my videos as well. So, in one comment, he asked of tips on how to stop caring about ranked uh, games because like he's always scared of going into ranked queue so he ends up playing too much normal games or arms or all that stuff i think i did a video a little similar in this last year but i think it's such an important point when i started league of legend and i hit level 30 I didn't jump right onto ranked games and I kind of regret it. I did some normal games, I was just, I was good in normal games because you play like against level 20, 22s, etc. when you just level up and like you feel good, like you feel, because you're good, like you're good at the game compared to the people you play and then you go on ranked once and you like literally get shit on and you're like, oh my god, this is way too much, this is like, I don't want to go there, like it's way too hard. And I understand you. Like, why would you go somewhere where you're bad when you can play somewhere when you, like, when you're good and like when you're above everyone? But if you guys take League of Legends seriously, if you really want to be in like high low or like play with your friends in flex or in duo queue and whatever that are like higher level than you, then you need to stop giving a fuck about losing a lot of people don't want to go and rank it because they don't want to lose like and they don't want to lose their lps they don't want to be bronze they don't want to have like this like etiquette on them right but when you stop caring about the next game or the next two games or that last game you just lost and that just like tilted you because you lost the lane hard and you just sucked well, you just have to get over yourself and literally stop giving a shit. League of Legends works in season, and it's not a game that is going to define if you're good, if you're bad, if you suck, and it's not someone posting a comment on the game like, oh, you suck, whatever, that should change your perspective of the game. League of Legends judges you in an entire season. As long as you work hard on the season and every season you do a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, then you'll be fine. I mean, I've started to be, I've started the game, I was silver, then I was gold, then I was diamond, then I was like diamond one. It just, I worked on it. I have played, I think, on my two first seasons of ranking, I played over a thousand games per season. Those are like, like, those are like hundreds and hundreds of hours in the game just grinding solo queue and solo queue and solo queue. And... I don't regret them because if I wasted my time in normal game, I would have learned nothing. Solo queue is an environment where you're gonna learn, and honestly, guys, I feel like you guys are you guys that have the same problem as Crash. You're too like you're too sensitive about the next game where you should look at the entire big picture of like the next hundred game. Make sure you win 51 out of 100 and you will grow and you will climb the elo hell, you will climb your elo, you will do better, that's for sure. But you need to look at the big picture. When I go into solo queue, I don't really care if I lose this game. I make sure that I play my best, that I, that I win my lane, and that I don't do the mistake I did last game, or last week, or yesterday. That is my job. Like, this is my job. I only control my mouse, and I only control my keyboard. I don't control other people's keyboards and mouse. And I can't, and I don't want to. Like, I have one job, I have one role, I might do my best to win my lane, to have a good impact, to buy awards, to do good itemization, to try hard on runes and masteries to make sure I'm optimized, and that's it. As long as you do your job, as long as you analyze your games and you know what you're doing wrong, without saying, oh my god, like other people suck, but that's other people suck. Like, that's literally like, this thing is like, it's a loser attitude, it's a loser mindset. When you blame other people, I mean, you definitely like, you're not a winner if you do that. And that works for life, that works for League of Legends, that works for anything ever, everywhere. If you start blaming the mid for sucking, well, you're not gonna grow because you got always find excuses. This guy sucks. Oh, but he did that. But the jungle didn't come. Like all that bullshit that you guys said to yourself. Like it's not. Just cut that bullshit. Please make sure you look at big pictures and make sure you don't do the same mistakes over and over again. People that don't grow, people that have been bronze five for five years, are literally the ones that never blame themselves for anything. And they always find excuses and blah 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 and blah blah blah. And actually the term ELO hell is just the community common excuses. Meaning that some people are just stuck and like yeah, it just doesn't make sense, guys. Like remember that every season the pro players are on top 
and the noobs are below in bronze 5 and everything in the middle is just dividing the best to the worst players and that's pretty much it like you'll never see like a pro gamer not being challenged at the end of the season it's just not gonna happen please take that advice for you guys meditate on it I also have other videos about warming up for solo queue videos if you can't play a lot of solo queue games I have tons of videos in my channel so please go browse a little bit I have tons of valuable uh, advice that I worked on so please go check my channel and just go explore a little bit and if you have a question that I haven't answered in all, any other videos please post it down below and I'll make a spe special video just for your question so that I can take my time to explain you what's wrong about your gameplay and just League of Legends in general thank you so much for watching guys I appreciate you uh, watching the video till that time I wish you an amazing day guys I'll see you for the next one cheers and they all black got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. Fall back as I'm coming through with my whole team. They coming too. That's real. Too real.